Hi, I'm Michael Wright, K6MFW, San Jose Racy's ATV Assistant Manager. This is a brief tutorial on setting up the ATV uh, field kit, ATV for amateur television, consisting of these four items. Uh, the ATV kit that contains the camera, transmitter, and cables and antenna, a TV set, uh, flat screen TV to receive the ATV transmissions, the antenna tripod, and the camera tripod. So these are the four items that part of the SJ Racy's inventory. There are three kits like this. When you open up the ATV kit, you will find that inside this kit you have just about everything, including uh, a, a brief instructions on setting up the ATV transmitter, and then also the AC power configuration. Uh, the kit contains a gel cell battery. This enables to get an ATV transmission up and running as little as five minutes. Uh, but then later on, that's when you can find additional power such as AC. The first thing you'd want to do when you uh, open up the kit is to set up the antenna. Uh, the first thing you want to set up is the antenna itself. Uh, we have, you know, the cord right here. It is attached uh, to the antenna and to be sure that it is uh, connected right here on the antenna output. Our next uh, item is the camera itself and you will find the camera tucked within this um, spot before the transmitter. Um, and what you'll find is that the cable for it is already connected uh, along with it with its power supply. And then also the um, tripod attachment, which should be on the camera itself. Do not remove this from the camera. Keep it with the camera. Here we have the camera uh, with, the, with the camera tripod and with the attachment so that it could be conveniently mounted in place. So then here you have your camera. Obviously, we remove the lens cap, um, open up the viewfinder, and then we power up the camera. Here we have is a field deployable uh, ATV system that's basically ready to go. We have our transmitter with the power supply uh, battery in the ATV case, uh, the cable that goes to the transmitter antenna, and our camera itself to provide a video source for the camera. We normally do not hook up the sound on it because we just transmit video. Within the camera is the um, on-screen uh, call sign display. For this is kit one and so its uh, call sign overlay is W6SJC-1. Okay, here we are, we're ready to power up the system. You'll notice we have mic gain and line gain. With the green tabs, just keep these turned uh, down on the green tabs. The important thing you want to pay attention to is video gain, which we want to keep it within this range. Start with mid-range first, and then you would go to whatever range to get rid of any hash marks or anything like that. As before, mic gain, line gain are not important because that's the audio. This would be kit one, so we want to switch that to uh, channel 58, or actually 427 megahertz. Uh, power on will power up the transceiver. We only use it for transmitting. And then this switch here will actually power up to get transmit. Over here we have our uh, a, a three position switch, where we have off for when we are not using the kit, switch up, so it puts it on the internal battery or switch over here if we want to use AC power. Uh, within the kit you'll find kind of a, a number of cables such as we have an AC distribution panel, um, an AC power cord, and an additional um, extension cord, and then also a cord for uh, with a power pole for connecting uh, DC power if needed. Uh, at times 
this may be deployed for quite some time and the internal battery is not going to last. Uh, we don't expect it to last more than a half hour, but at times it could be more. But for long deployments, you're going to have to get additional power, and that's what all these items are for. Also within this kit, you'll have a series of attenuators. At times, if we're operating two kits at the same time, and we don't want uh, one transmission to interfere with an adjacent transmission, such as ATV kit number two that operates on channel 59 or 433 megahertz, we also have additional adapters, uh, such as your cigarette light plug, etc. Uh, when you do power up, probably the first thing you want to see, are we on the air? Within this is, a, uh, is an LCD uh, TV set that is cable ready, and it can be uh, turned on and switched either to channel 58 for this one to see if you actually have a transmission uh, up and running from the kit itself. Okay, now we have an ATV transmission up and running. Uh, we once uh, have a means to view the transmission. Uh, within the AT, with the SJ Racy's ATV inventory, includes uh, these TV sets uh, that are actually 12 volt ready. Uh, we have our um, DC adapter with the power pole and particular, uh, you know, cable, you know, the AC cable to go with it and in also including a cigarette light adapter. Also within the same kit is this uh, UHF uh, J-pole with an F connector adapter so you can readily connect uh, cable TV type coax to it. Uh, this can be deployed on one of the other uh, uh, J-poles or other means you know, for that. This is the San Jose Racy's uh, amateur television ATV kit with all the particular parts. Uh, we have our ATV transmitter uh, in this uh, Pelican case with the internal uh, gel cell battery uh, to get uh, quickly up and running on the air. Our uh, transmitter antenna, this three element UHF, and then our camera itself uh, that also has an on screen overlay built in on the title for SJ. C for W6SJC-1 uh, uh, and our TV set to receive it. So here it is, all ready to go. But when the mission is over, it's still not over. The mo another most important is to pack these items just how you had when you opened up the case. Okay, here we are. We just packed everything away. But before you actually unpack, obviously you want to power everything down. And this would be turning off the camera and the transmitter, and also to switch the main power switch to the center position for off. Everything is actually connected. You do not need to disconnect or connect any kinds of cables. And most important, make sure that the camera tripod adapter stays with the camera. Most important is to actually pack everything neatly away, including the instructions, and may take a little bit of fitting, but this has been designed, so it should not take much work to pack the unit away in the Pelican case like so. This concludes the brief tutorial on setting up the amateur television ATV kit for the San Jose Racies uh, group. Your main four items, ATV transmitter, uh, television set, antenna tripod, and camera tripod. These are the four things to be returned to the SJ Racies inventory. And there is further information uh, take a look at uh, S.J. Wacy's webpage, which is at www.sjracy's.org. And I'd like to thank the other members of the S.J. Racy's group and also the City of San Jose that provided much funding for the equipment we have here.